Hey guys, this is Tony Solo here from The Natural Lifestyles and here in Budapest, just talking to you guys about the number one behavior that I think you guys should let go as a nice guy. And you've heard me talk about so many behaviors to let go, but this is the one that I think that will make everything else easier. And that is your need for other people to see you the way you perceive yourself or the way you want to perceive yourself. This is what it means. Have you noticed that when you're in front of people, you want them to think you're a nice guy. You want them to think that you have good intentions. You want them to think that you're a good person. And that want for that from the other person is basically saying that I really don't believe that I'm that. So I need for the other person to validate, validate, validate that within myself. And once it's validated, then I'll feel good. That is the process. But if you can learn to cut the process of what is that other person going to perceive me as, then immediately you take all the power back from when you're around others. You may notice that when you're around people, and even women, that you feel yourself just constantly losing your power and your ground around them. And a lot of the times you're losing your power in your ground just because you want them to perceive you in a way that you currently perceive yourself or you want to perceive yourself as and you're working toward and you need for them to give you more validation and more strength on that identity that you want to uphold in the future. And this is something I noticed with myself that when I was talking to women that I would be in front of them and I would want them to think that I'm a good person. Because deep down I felt that but I was so confused about why did a woman think that I'm not? Why do women test me? Why do they uh, know that I want them to open to me but they are not doing it because they believe that I'm full of shit. Because I would have girls go, I think you're just doing this so you can get something from me. And it would always make me feel bad on the inside. I'm like, I'm really not. I'm not trying to do anything to harm you. I'm really here because I want to get to know you. I don't have any intention to make you uh, <clears throat> think that I'm doing something that I'm not. I'm just here to truly get to know you. And I really want to get to know what you're about on all levels. And I brought up a lot of chaos inside of me. And all the chaos that it brought up inside of me, I was wondering, okay, why is it happening? I am a good person. Why is it happening? And what I noticed is that it's just a manifestation of a part of me that wasn't yet settled. Of course I knew I was a good person, but I wasn't yet settled in the sense of I don't need people to let me know that. One of the things that I love growing up is being told, was being told by people at church and my mom and everybody that I was just like gonna make it. That I was a person that had everything together, that I was going places. You know, my mom used to always say to me, the Lord has something in store for you. And all these things that I was getting inside of me was just letting me know that yeah, all the good feelings that you want, it comes from people. You know, this part of myself that, that feels like I'm a good person that, and that wants to take a woman on an adventure, that wants to have a woman in my life, that wants to share with others, all of that, I, I, I want that to happen, but at the same time, you know, there's a part of me that's really unsettled. Why is all, like, I, I just didn't understand. The confusion hit me so strongly. And then I was like, all right, I know everybody been telling me my whole life that I'm good. I'm a good person. You know what? You're a good guy. You know what? You're a good man. I've been told, been told that my entire life. I have. But I've took it in, I took it on so strong so strongly that it became a part of me uh, that people t let me know that I'm a good person and I always find myself that in other people's eyes. So much that I would be afraid to actually do anything or fuck up. I used to actually be afraid to fuck up because I don't want people to now believe that I wasn't a good person. But how do you think that plays out when you're with women? How do you think that plays out when you're in front of women and you are constantly worried about fucking up because of everything you've been told your whole life that you shouldn't be or that you should be? Now it's time to make something different happen with that. And for me, I was like, okay, I got to make something different happen. I need to now start to just speak to others in a way I want to speak to them, but not try to rush to make them think that I'm a good person. I need to express something, but I need to not rush to try to make sure everything comes back down to equilibrium. And with that not looking outside of myself for the validation that I needed, 
that I thought I needed for my own ground underneath, for my own self-esteem, everything started to change. It completely started to change. When I would walk up to women, it would be very different in the way I would interact with them. I would be in front of them and I would truly be inside of myself. Because the way it used to be before was that I was inside of myself, but simultaneously I was outside of myself worrying about, did they think, did she think that that was good? Was that something that I should have done? Should I have done something else? And it was all stemming from, okay, I don't trust myself. You know what? I trust her opinion more than I trust my own truth. I trust whatever this woman is going to tell me more than my own self. And with me doing that consistently, <clears throat> I start to notice that when I'm in front of a woman, it's not that I'm taking my power back, because I used to always think like, okay, I'm taking my power back. It's not that I'm taking my power back, it's just that I'm allowing the power that wants to come out of me to come out of me. I'm allowing it to now sit inside of me instead of now not own it. That's what it is. It's just that do you own the power that you have or do you not own it? So when I teach guys, okay, there's a power inside of you. It really is. There's a power center right here. And if you learn how to connect to it, you'll start to see, okay, when I breathe from here, does my stomach actually contract? Does it just breathe normally? And from that place, you'll start to see that, fuck, I actually have my stomach that's contracted. When I try to breathe here, I'm actually afraid because in breathing here, I'm like, I'm like exposing myself in a way. So enough about that. That's something that you guys can learn if you come on workshop with me. But just learning that process of being here and allowing her to be there. That now allows something to happen that was mutual. That was something that could be formulated between us because if I'm worried about me and the person that's in front of me I'm in stress and a lot of guys walk up to the woman in stress and I'm like come on man you have to understand that whatever you want them to perceive you as even if they do perceive you as that what if they stop perceiving you as that then what like you can have a moment of fuck up and they go oh I thought you were this way but you're not and you go no 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 I am that way or you start to try to save yourself. And then you're trying to save yourself. It just shows the woman that you never really had that together anyway. This is why I love that women actually test men. I actually love that. Because a woman needs to. She needs to know what she's dealing with. Because many men are full of shit. And you as a man now, you need to understand. Am I full of shit when I walk up to a woman? Am I trying to put on that I fucking have it together when I actually don't? Am I trying to make her perceive me as a man that's, that's confident within himself when I'm actually just a person who's really confused right now? <clears throat> Am I somebody who's just starting this journey and I'm trying to make her perceive me as somebody who's already been fucking many women? Am I somebody who, like when one guy had a workshop, you know, I asked him, I said, what are you afraid of women noticing when you walk up? What are you afraid of women noticing? He said, that I'm not good at conversation. And I said, that's actually the reason why you keep fucking up in conversation because you're afraid of a woman exposing that part of you that feels that you're not good at conversation. But what if I told you right now that being not, being not good at conversation is totally fine and that many women that you walk up to won't be good at conversation as well? I'm not saying this to, you know, make you feel good. I'm just telling you that if you just own the fact that, yeah, you're not so good at holding a conversation, but you're learning, a woman is more respectful of that than a man who actually isn't. She will value him. She will actually know that he's human and that he's normal. People who try to not own the things about them that's actually happening are people who perceived as uh, per perfect. And they'll actually take on perfect ways of being, try to take on perfect ways of being of not fucking up, which makes them fuck up all the time actually. So the perception that you want others to view you as, whatever it is, that you're confident, that you're great at conversation, that you uh, are somebody who um, is really comfortable with himself. Whatever the thing you want others to perceive you as, I would say, challenge yourself in the sense of, what if you wanted them to perceive you as that and they never saw you as that? What if they never saw you as that? Then what? Would you, would you say that you can go through your life and never ever be secure? Or would you like this route? Even if they perceive you as that or not, you're going to allow yourself to connect to what's the truth for you. 
The truth is, yeah, right now, I'm not confident. I feel that in my core. I actually don't feel like I'm a confident person, but I'm okay with that. One of the best things that a person can get used to is, but I'm okay with that. Because once you say, but I'm okay with that, that's when it can now change. That's when you can now start to feel comfortable within yourself. It's, you got to really think about this. It's when you don't feel comfortable within yourself about something that's so to see, perceived as wrong within you is that when you actually feel insecure, when you actually feel that you don't have any ground underneath you, when you don't feel confident. But the moment you become okay with anything that currently right now you're not okay with, whatever ground that you're looking for within, it immediately appears. Immediately. Whatever stability on the inside that you're looking for immediately appears. And that's happened for me. There's many things in my life where I was like, oh man, I just feel so, like I'm not okay with this. And when I go up to somebody, I don't want them to see the fact that I'm not okay with this. And when I walk up to women, I didn't want them to see that, man, fuck. Like I'm, I'm actually a bit afraid of expressing the depths of my heart. I really am. I'm very afraid of it because I know that when I was little, I got hurt and I withdrew. I did. And I would walk up to women and I would be screening them really hard to see that, okay, is she going to be somebody that I can reveal the depths of my heart to? Because if I do, you know, that means that, you know, I'm okay. But I was, I was screening really hard out of fear. <clears throat> I was afraid of women seeing that. Very, very fucking afraid. But in due time, um, and meeting my woman, and getting over the things with my dad, with being able to be okay with the fact of, yes, I did get hurt to a tr tremendous degree when I was younger. I did, when I was completely open in my heart. When I just became okay with these things, and I started to, uh, when I met my woman, and I started to become okay with the things with my dad, and I started to become okay, the key thing, that's when I was like, all right, I'm actually holding the thing back that women actually want. I'm holding it back because I have a lot of fear around it. I want them to perceive me as this very thing that I'm not holding back, which is a person that is heartfelt. But I'm holding back my heartfelt self. What are you wanting women to perceive you as? What do you want people to perceive you as? And are you really that? And if they didn't perceive you as that, or if they did perceive you as that, could you be okay with the fact that you are that? These questions are things that will challenge you guys. But as they challenge you to become different, allow yourself to honestly look at what is the thing that I'm really after? Am I after someone else and making me feel a certain way? Or am I after me inducing my own happiness? And as you start to question yourself and have these insights, your whole world will start to change the way you think. So the thing that I want you guys to know is this will come with attention. And the tension that it comes with is the tension within yourself of sitting with how do they perceive me? That's the tension you need to sit with. Because if you can sit with that question never, be, never being answered, you'll get everything that you want on the inside for that thing that you're afraid of uh, them perceiving you as or you want them to perceive you as whatever it may be just allowing someone else to, to, to dictate your reality the tension will manifest in a very strong way it will because you, you, you will want the answer the answer will be the thing that you must be willing to not live with everybody wants the answer they do it everybody wants the answer to everything how did this person perceive me? I want the answer. What if you never get the answer? What if I told you that your path to freedom is not getting the answer? How did this person perceive me? How would they perceive me? Being in the future. How does this person perceive me? Being able to just in the moment, go, go, go to the past and go, while you're in the moment, literally go to the past and go, how are they perceiving me? Like I tell you guys, the more that you can learn that the moment itself is where everything lies and that everything outside the moment is where all stress comes from and all that uh, fear comes from, your entire view on yourself will shift to 
the moment gives me what I need, what I don't need is outside the moment. The only way that I would say that you as a person will come to being able to perceive yourself a certain way, live in that, and allow other people to just be as they are as you live in that, is just developing your relationship to the tension of the not knowing. The not knowing is the new. That's what I would say. Anybody who really wait, guys, go around. Yeah. This any, anybody who really wants to know the answers for themselves, they need to know this. Yeah. Excuse me. Yes. I hope this video has let you guys know that perception, others' perceptions of you, actually has no meaning to you. You just want to know the answer of, am I being perceived in a way that I want to be perceived? The answer for you lies in not knowing the answer. This will be very hard for you. It's very hard for me. But man, it releases so much stress off you because you start to know that in life, you don't need to always know. Because if you always knew, then that means that you're afraid of not knowing. The product that I'm coming out with in June is going to be able to help you guys understand perception of yourself. Be able to help you guys understand what does it mean to be a person who understands his changing emotions and the things that happen inside of himself. Being able to be present to life. Understand what it means to be in this moment and letting everything else outside this moment be as it is. And then that, of course, in relation to women. From nice guy to masculine man is the product. It shows you everything in the arc. This is just one of the things that I want to let you guys that let you guys know that we'll be in there. You understanding yourself at a deep level and letting go of this num this nice guy way that every nice guy out there has. Every fucking nice guy out there has this, and I had this to a certain extent. I did to a certain degree. I definitely had this, but the moment I let it go, this is Tony Solo from the Natural Lifestyles and. I just want to let you guys know that I love you and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new and it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home. And along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, Click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.